Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix lag and I'm going to show you guys a series of optimizations, quick, easy optimizations that you guys can use throughout this video. And by the end of this video, you should get better FPS and also more stable FPS. And this is going to especially help people on low end PCs and mid end PCs. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so for this optimization, just join a random Roblox game. It doesn't matter what game it is. We don't need the Roblox. We just need it running in the background, as you can see. And what we're going to do is go on, search the task manager, open that up. And now we're going to look for where it says Roblox game client. Because Roblox game client doesn't actually show up in Windows file. It only shows the Roblox player, which is the launcher for Roblox. And we don't need that. We only need the Roblox game client. So what we're going to do here is right click, press on properties. And then what you want to do is go to compatibility and then make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked. Now go to change high DPI settings and make sure override high DPI scaling behaviors is checked. Also press OK, press apply and you should be done. So if you're someone like me that uses Discord in the background, make sure you go on Discord, go on settings and go to where the advanced bit is and then make sure hardware acceleration is off. Right, so what you want to do now is search for run, open this up, type in percentage 10%, open it up. Now what you want to do is control A to select everything, right click, press and delete. Also, by the way, not everything here is going to delete. So if it doesn't delete, you can just press skip on it and it should delete most things. So as you can see here, just do this for all and then press skip. I'm just going to skip this out and you can delete it from there. Now another thing you can do is search for run again and then type in temp. Now what you do is control A delete and then press do this for all current items and skip it's going to delete a bunch of things that you don't need on windows search game mode now make sure this is off you don't want this on like i noticed that now when i have this off my fps is so much more stable and i get much higher fps than i did previously like in some games i notice i get 200 more fps than i usually would like when I go on a game sometimes and then let's say it's a game where I get 400 FPS, I'm consistently getting 500-600 FPS. Now I'll go to graphic settings over here on the right and then make sure this is on, not off. Now another thing that I usually do is go to task manager, open that up and go to stop and make sure as much of these are disabled and not enabled. Only enable the things that you would need. Um, when you start up your PC and if there's something that you don't know what it is just make sure you keep it as it is it's probably something that your PC needs for example audio here the real tech HD audio thing I need to have this enabled it's my audio driver so certain things like that need to stay um, enabled so you want to try uh, disable as much of this as possible only enable the things that you need especially if it says the stop impact is high for example over here so now what you want to do is search edit power and then look for it says edit power plant open this up go to change the advanced power settings and then scroll down and look for it says processor power management and make sure the minimum process state is on 100 but don't do this if you guys have any heating issues so yeah same thing with the maximum process state make sure it's on 100 for the best performance obviously if you guys have overheating issues for example your cpu gets high temperatures then this is not worth doing so just keep it as it is if you have overheating issues but anyways just press apply and then press ok make sure to turn off the display set to never and also the same thing with put the computer to sleep set this to never go to background apps open this up and make sure let apps run in the background is off this is gonna make sure that no app is running in the background and just to confirm you guys can go over here and make sure all of this is off now since you're here another thing you can do is go to notifications and also make sure this is all off you don't need any of this on search for apps and features open this up now just delete as much of this as you guys can because this is going to help free up your pc storage also making your game run more smoothly um, it may not always make your fps better but it should at least stabilize it or you should see some sort of increase in fps so make sure you guys delete as much things as you can of here that you guys don't need now if you guys are nvidia users what you can do is go to manage 3d settings 
and then copy as much of uh, my settings as you want these are currently the best settings and the ones i prefer to use so certain things like open GRN gpu set this to your gpu and also power management mode make sure it's on preferred maximum performance refresh rate obviously highest available make sure the shader cache size is set to 10 gigabytes make sure texture filtering quality is set to high performance now these two settings i would recommend you guys test on and off for me both of these on personally works better for me it might not be the same thing for you but i would highly recommend you guys try this out while you guys are on the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust desktop size and position and make sure this is on display and not GPU. Search for performance and go to the one that says adjust the appearance and performance of windows, open this up, select this and set this to adjust for best performance and what you are going to do is keep smooth edges to make sure your font looks decent and also uh, show thumbnail instead of icons this is so that when you go into your files any images you have don't show up as you know the windows default so this is these two are very useful so what we want to do now is just press apply press ok 